All right, you guys. Uh, well, welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Um, uh, this hour is going to be a TOEFL preparation hour. Uh, I apologize. Uh, it, the Hangouts got frozen and it was stuck and sitting there. And you guys came into class, but I couldn't start the broadcast and I didn't know what to do. I was like, ah. So I left and then came right back in. Uh, very good. So let's see who we have here so far. Uh, Wanderson, welcome. Good to see you. Wanderson, can you hear me okay? Okay, how about uh, okay. Anil? Okay, 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 I, I hear you. Okay, Wanderson, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Brazil. You're from Brazil? Yes. Okay, very good. And uh, Wanderson, have you, uh, have you answered uh, or have you practiced uh, TOEFL, uh, TOEFL answers before? Wanderson? Okay. Uh, how about Manel? Hi, Manel. How are you? Uh, hi, how Hello, are you? Uh, I'm uh, doing good. Yeah, Thanks for the bus. Okay, very good. And Manel, uh, um, have you been in my classes before, but a while ago? No, this or is the first. No, this is the first time I was here in Verblink for a long time, but I never uh, joined to a class. I wasn't know how, but my friend to me just uh, uh, sent me this link, and I try, and I was oh my god, I'm in a real class. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, I had a uh, a friend who was on here a long time ago. We're talking about a year ago, and uh, I know that she was uh, she was busy doing schooling and things like that, and uh, I, and so she had to stop coming to classes. But I thought you were that same person, but you had just changed your picture. Uh, no, but no. no. Very good. So what what country are you from, Manel? I'm from Algeria. From Algeria. Okay. Good. Yeah. Good. Good to have you here. Okay, nice. and uh, have you uh, have you uh, answered uh, TOEFL questions before? Have you uh, practiced, or are you preparing for TOEFL? No, never. I was looking uh, for some TOEFL on the net, but I didn't find good ones. So no, never. Okay. I never okay. did. Okay. All right, no problem. All right, and uh, let's see, Wanderson. Wanderson, it uh, it seems like we have a, a pretty yeah, big delay. Yeah, yeah that, are you? Yes. Are you? I'll take the TOEFL in the next uh, week. Okay, so you're taking TOEFL the next week, and uh, and, um, and so you you have the uh, uh, course uh, settled and whatnot. Okay, um, and have you have you practiced answering answering these questions before? Do you know the structure? I I I'm pressing I I'm pressing a uh, little more if I I I'd like. Okay. But uh, I okay. Okay. All right. Sounds good. So what uh, what we're going to do, okay, is uh, is take a look at some some questions here and practice answering them. All right. Um, the uh, questions to the class are in the class materials section. Okay, if you cannot find that, I'll place it in the uh, Verbling and the Google chat boxes. Okay, so uh, go ahead and and open that uh, open that up. I'll open it on my computer as well. Okay. Okay. Now the the trick to answering uh, to answering TOEFL questions is that you want to gear your answer. Uh, like a mini essay. Okay, so what I mean by that is you're going to start off with an introduction. Okay, it's a small introduction. All right, then you'll have your supporting statements and then a conclusion. Okay, now uh, yes. you're doing this in the space of 45 seconds. Okay, so TOEFL is a timed exercise. You'll get a chance to read the question, then you'll have 15 seconds to prepare your answer. Okay, from there, after 15 seconds, you'll have 45 seconds to then answer the question. All right, so that's that's how it works, and there's a certain structure to it. When they're judging you, they're looking at uh, if you can uh, finish the answer within the time period. Okay, uh, they're checking your grammar. Okay, they're checking your pronunciation. 
Okay? Mm -hmm. You're also checking to see if you answer the question fully. All right? Mm -hmm. And what I mean by fully is um, you're answering the question, you're not going off and answering another question, but you're staying on point and on key. Well, that's what, that's what I'm here to uh, teach you guys how to do. Right. Okay. Uh, the good thing mm -hmm. about answering TOEFL questions is not only for TOEFL, but this is good in business. All right. It's also good in uh, job interviews. You look so bad. Okay. So situation situations that uh, that will be able to uh, to help you in, in life, not just getting in, into uh, into school or whatnot. Okay. So let's uh, let's take a look here. Um, Wanderson, we're going to start off with you since you've had a little bit more practice here. Chad, I, I, I have okay. a question. Yes, what's your question? Uh, what, which is, is the most uh, proper verb tense to use in the two first uh, tasks, speaking tasks, TOEFL speaking tasks? Um, it depends on it depends on what uh, uh, it depends on how the how the questions asked. Okay, let me let me take a look at specifically what you're referring to. Because uh, I'm 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 only on, in this in this section we're only working on one of them where we're at, at where we're uh, uh, we're answering a question where we are um, sharing our opinion. Okay, so give me one second here. Okay. 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 Because yeah, I want I want to know exactly what you are what you are referring to in the first in the first two sections. Oh oh, it's the it's the independent tasks, independent speaking tasks. Yeah, on the okay. So uh, the independent. So you're reading reading question, uh, then respond to the question. Yeah. So it's. It's uh, yeah. These are the first two that uh, that we're working on because there's six there's six parts to uh, to the test. I don't have them all memorized. Which one is one and two? Okay. So um, okay. So what? Um, yeah. So independent speaking. So depending on how the uh, the question is uh, asked to you. So if we're looking at if we're looking at uh, this question here, some people believe. Okay. So I'm at number one on this page. Okay, some people believe that university students should be required to attend classes. Others believe that going to classes should be optional for students. Which point of view do you agree with? Use specific uh, reasons and details to explain your answers. Okay, all right. Here, okay, I would I would be sharing my opinion. Okay, in my opinion, I believe that students it should be op optional for students to go to class. I believe this because now I'm going to be talking in present tense here. Okay. Now, if it's a question that's asking about the past, then I'd be speaking in past. Okay. If uh, if it's a if it's a question asked in second conditional. Okay. If you found a million dollars, what would you spend the money on? I would be then answering in in that condition. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay. Okay, so it really just depends on how the question is asked. Okay. Okay. Thanks. All Thanks. right. Thanks. Very good. And uh, Nurel, how are you? Welcome to class. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. I'm fine. Um, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank so. You. Um, so you guys, when you open up the uh, the uh, um, the box here, we've been uh, studying, okay, studying these questions a bit. We're going to go down to, I believe we're on page number six or something like that. Okay, so we're on page number six. Okay, and uh, so where it says old or modern. Okay, now I'm going to be copying these and placing them in the chat boxes as well. Okay, so let's uh, let's start off with you, Wanderson. Okay, and we're going to take a look at uh, we're going to take a look at number twenty. 
Okay, so Wanderson, what I would like for you to do is read this question out loud. Right? Then you'll have 15 seconds to prepare your answer. So go ahead and read that. I'm going to place it in the Google chat box for you to uh, make reference to. Okay, go ahead. Okay, Wanderson. Wanderson, are you there? Oh, okay. Okay, um, okay. Okay. All right. So I, I don't know if there's a, a lag or, or or whatnot, but yeah, let, let's uh, please please pay attention. If I call your name, okay, jump in and so that we can uh, use our time properly. Okay. So go ahead and read number twenty, please. Wanderson, can I have you read the question out loud, please? Okay, uh, Nurel, let's uh, let's go to you here, um, and I believe we've already done this one. Um, let's try. Let's try number twenty-two for you, Nurel. Go ahead and read that, okay. please. Should the city try to preserve its own historic buildings or destroy them and replace them with modern buildings? Use specific reasons and examples to support your opinion. Okay. Fifteen seconds to prepare. Okay, ready? Yes. Go. I believe that the city uh, must uh, should keep uh, its uh, historic buildings. First of all, they are part of the past, and uh, it's very in important for us uh, to keep up uh, with the work that our ancestors did. Uh, and uh, this way we can uh, learn from them and we can remember them for forever. Uh, in addition, uh, cities should keep those uh, historic buildings because uh, they may attract other tourists to come to your uh, city and then uh, they, this may increase the economy of the city, which will be interesting. So, uh, therefore, for these reasons, I believe that cities should keep with their historic building. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. So, um, uh, we we were a little over time here. Okay. Um, and I believe it because in your in the the central part of your answer when you are giving your reasons, you are adding in a lot of of, uh, of different words. And whatnot that uh, kind of uh, um, made it a little bit longer. So you actually got to your conclusion at the 45 second mark, okay? But your conclusion was was good, okay? So um, in uh, in uh, in this section, uh, I want to take a look at uh, some pronunciation and then and then a couple little things here grammatically, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. So first up, a uh, uh, word that I want to practice is the word historic instead of historic. It's historic. The stress is on the O R. Oh, historic. Okay, mm -hmm. historic. Okay, historic. Historic. Okay, good. Okay. Um, then the next word is the word economy. Economy. Mm -hmm. economy. One more time. Economy. Economy. Good. Good. Just like that. Okay. Um, now. Uh, another uh, phrase that you used, you said uh, that our ancestor did. Okay, so it uh, helps us remember what our ancestor did. Now, when we are talking about um, uh, uh, ancestors, okay, uh, we if you say ancestor, you need to say what a ancestor. Okay, if you do not have the article there, you need to pluralize it and say ancestors. What our ancestors did, or what a ancestor did. Uh huh. And 
Okay, so here, here the, 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 the best way to say that would be what our ancestors did. Uh -huh. So uh, pluralizing that. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What our ancestors did. Okay, and the last one here, uh, they are part of the past. Here, um, now you can say this, they are part of the past. But typically, how we say this, we actually add the word a there. They are a part of the past. They are and I, a part. And I don't know why, but uh, because you can say they are part of the past. Okay? But, yeah, yeah, we would typically say they are a part of the past. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, but it sounds fine if you say they are part of the past. Okay? But yeah, I would, I would definitely add the word a there. Okay, um, but yeah, every, everything else was good. Just watch your watch uh, your your extra words that you're adding into your uh, uh, into your answer there, because that that tends to bump you over. Um, mm -hmm. So, for example, one of the things you said was, and that would be good for for your economy, and that and I think that would be interesting. Okay, or I think that would be nice. So, uh, those those little extra phrases you would not need to add in there. Okay, you can just state the fact that if uh, the extra tourists come to the to come to the city to see these things, that would be good for their economy. Mm -hmm. Okay, just uh, yeah. leave it nice, nice and simple. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Very, very nice. Thank you, Nurel. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. No problem. Okay, let's go to Manel. Yes. All right, Manel. Uh, yes. Let's take a look here. Now uh, I do apologize. I had to uh, uh, mute you yes, uh, yes, because sorry, there was some noise there in the background. Because there's noise. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, so okay. uh, no, no offense. It was just a little noisy. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, next one here. You have to be okay. easy. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm looking to make sure. Okay. So uh, some items can be handmade or machine. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's try this one. Uh, uh -huh. Go ahead and and read this one out loud, please. Okay. Some items such as clothes or furniture, I can, uh, furniture can be made by hand or by machine. Which do you prefer? It's ma made by hand or it's made by machine. Use reasons and specific example to explain your choice. Okay. Yes. Now, when uh, when we are answering these these questions, mm -hmm. okay, um, this is a preference question. Okay, so a word that, uh, a phrase that you want to use at the beginning would be, I prefer. Yes. Okay, because right here it's, it's asking you which you prefer. So your intro is okay. going to be very short and very simple. Okay, you could say, okay. I prefer. Okay, now yeah. um, let's, we're going to work through the intro with you, okay? So which do you prefer? Do you prefer uh, handmade items or do you prefer items made by machine? For me, I prefer items made by machine. Okay, so yeah. that's how you can start start it off. I prefer item, uh, items made by machine. Okay, then mm -hmm. you're going to answer why. Okay, you would okay. say because, and then you're going to give me give me a reason. Okay, then I want uh, you to give, try and give me another reason. Okay, but uh, make sure that everything you say is is answering the reason why. Okay, so I have a question. I can yes. do. Uh, I mean, if I answer this, uh, I have. I give you a reasons why I love my, uh, items made my, made by machine. Can I say too uh, that I have uh, my reason? I mean, I love them both, but more. Okay. Oh, I confusing. Okay, I will give you my answer. Okay, clear okay. and simple. Now, what uh, the? I, I understand what you're saying. Now the reason this is the reason why I'm going to say this is because you only have 45 seconds. Okay, Perfect. you can do try. that. You can do that. You can say, "Well, I actually prefer both," and there is a way to do that. But uh, okay. yes, you have yes, to I realize you have to realize that you only have 45 seconds to do it, and that okay, time okay. goes by really fast. So okay, okay. I, I would focus on only answering one of them. So uh, let's let's go with what you prefer. Right now, uh, being machine. So, come up with two reasons why you prefer machine. Okay, and then and then a conclusion. Your conclusion needs to be obvious. Okay, so if you were listening to what Nurel said, she said, therefore, that's why I believe we should uh, preserve the historic buildings. That's a great conclusion. 
Okay, therefore is meaning, hey guys, I'm I'm finishing. I'm finishing what I'm going to say. You can also uh, say okay. words like in conclusion or that's why. Uh, okay. Okay, or those okay. are the reasons why. So you want to be very okay. obvious that you're ending. Okay, so okay. let's uh, let's give it a whirl. Okay, you want your introduction. You want uh, a couple of supporting statements, and then your conclusion. So I'm going to give you 15 seconds to prepare. Okay. Then I'll stop the clock. And then we're going to start the clock from 15 seconds and go up to a minute. Okay, you'll have 45 seconds. All right, so 15 seconds right now. Okay, are you ready? Yes, I am. All right, go ahead. Okay, I I start now. Yep, go ahead. Okay, I prefer items by made by machine because machines can do more much uh, uh, cute and lovely uh, dresses and items than uh, the ones who made by uh, hand. And we can and uh, we can uh, much more. Uh, we look much fashion in those. Uh, clothes than the the ones who made by uh, hand. <laughs> That's it. Okay, and the conclusion. Yes, we we are more fashion in. Uh, we look so stylish in uh, in clothes made by machine than the ones made by hand. Okay. All right. So um, yes. let, let's talk about the conclusion. Okay. Now you did really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, you did really good. You gave me two two reasons, right? Okay, now your conclusion uh, should sound like this. Those are the reasons why I I prefer items made by machine. Okay, so you you wrap it up very at the very end. Those are the reasons why I prefer items made by machine. Okay, now let's uh, let's talk about it. Your introduction was really good. Okay, you stated that exactly how I taught you. Okay, and then you went into your reasons. Your first reason, okay, was um, because you can make uh, better designs that are that are more lovely, right? Okay, yeah. that are that yeah. are better looking. And when we when we wear those, your second reason, we look fashionable, right? Okay, yeah. that was good. Okay, now let's talk about uh, the way that you said those, the grammar. Uh, you said we can do much more acute and lovely than the ones made by hand. Okay, so instead yeah. of saying they can do much more acute, okay, they can make clothes that are okay lovelier. All right, so uh, let's yeah. type this in here. Okay, they can make clothes that are lovelier. They can lovelier make than the ones lovelier. made yeah. made uh, by hand. hand. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So they, they can, can make clothes, clothes that are lovelier mm -hmm, than the ones made mm -hmm. by hand. Okay. So that's how you would want to say that, right? Okay. Now the next uh, next phrase you said was, um, uh, "We can we look much fashion." Okay. Yeah. We look, and, and the word that you want to use here is fashionable. Fashionable. Okay. Yes. We look, we look more fashionable. We yeah. look more fashionable. Okay. Fashionable. Now, uh, the other word that I want to work on is the word clothes. Okay. We do not say clothes. It's pronounced yes. clothes. Clothes. Okay. Clothes. Yes. Clothes, just like that. Okay. Now, don't forget your conclusion at the end. That's very important. Okay. All right. Very good job. Very nice, nice, nice job in keeping your answer answers simple and to the point. That was really good. Okay. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Goldman. Goldman, how are you? Goldman. Okay, hey, let's go. Yes, I'm back. My I was fixing my microphone. 
Okay. All right. Very good. So, Godeman, um, have you answered uh, have you answered TOEFL questions before? Tough questions. TOEFL. What we're doing in this class? TOEFL. Oh. TOEFL. What is that? TOEFL. Uh, TOEFL is tough. a. Nope. Not like tough. This is a test. It's okay. a. These are test questions. TOEFL is a test that you would take to get into universities. Uh, sometimes they're used for uh, um, for jobs, okay? And it uh, it uh, shows your proficiency with the English language, okay? okay. So that's what we are practicing here, okay? Yeah. So uh, I want you to uh, to take a listen and see how see how we're doing this, okay? okay. Um, so uh, let's let, let me have you uh, wait just a little bit, okay? So Wanderson, Wanderson, are you back with us? Yes, I'm back. Okay, very good. Okay, so Wanderson, uh, let's uh, let's take a look here at uh, number twenty-four. Okay, I want you to uh, read that out loud. Okay, if you could invent something new, what product would you develop? Use specific details to explain why. Why this invention is needed? Okay, now, um, Wanderson, this this leads to the question that you asked me at the very beginning of class. Okay, now, what tense is this question asked in? What tense are they using? Okay, or what form is this question in? Okay, this is going to be second second conditional. Okay, if you could, all right, if you could invent something new, what would you okay. develop? Okay, okay, what would you develop? Now, um, so you, all of your all of your answers they're going to be, okay, I, I would, I would do this. Okay, you you don't want to you don't want to speak in in present tense here. Okay, we're talking okay. about the possibility. Okay, so um, let's uh, let's uh, let's go through and okay. So you'll have 15 seconds to you'll have 15 seconds to prepare here. Okay, so you want to have an introduction. Okay, you want to have supporting statements or ex an explanation of why your invention is needed, and then a conclusion. Okay. Okay. All right, so 15 seconds to prepare. Here we go. Okay. Are you ready? Red. I I would be I would be inventing a a bicycle bicycle flying because this is is a uh, is important uh, transportation transportation device and and uh, is lightweight and is uh, is fuel fuel free and uh, i i think it is 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 more important in the big cities for that uh, for that uh, new 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 Way when the people become uh, go to your works. Okay. All right. Let's uh, give me one second here. All right. Okay, so let's uh, let's take a look here. Um, now, what uh, what you want to what you want to have, okay, is your introduction and your conclusion. You were lacking your conclusion there, right? And um, uh, your introduction, we need to work on just a little bit, right? So when you when you prepare your introduction, you want to take it right from your question. Okay, so your question here 
is if you could invent something new, what product would you develop? An introduction that you should use would be if I if I could invent something new, I would invent a flying bicycle. Okay, so that's going to be your introduction. Okay, you're taking it right from your from that question. Does that make sense, Wanderson? So if I okay. if I could invent something new, okay, I would uh, I would invent a flying uh, a flying bike. We'll just leave it there. Okay, I would invent a flying bike. Okay, now when uh, uh, afterwards, that's when you're going to give your reasons. Okay, uh, and based on the question, you need to explain why it's needed. Okay, so you would say uh, this invention would be needed. Okay, in in the cities where it's very busy and you can fly above people. All right, it would be cheap because bicycles wouldn't need that much gas. Okay, it would be like a scooter that flies in the air. Okay, or whatever your reasons are. Okay, now in your conclusion at the end, Wanderson. Okay, you want to make sure that you are you are wrapping your question up. You're coming in full circle. All right, and you say, so um, that these are the reasons why I would invent a flying bicycle. Okay, so in conclusion, these are the reasons why a flying bicycle is needed. Okay, that would be a, another way to, to conclude. But you need to be very obvious when you're doing that. Okay, so you're, in, in that way you have a clear introduction, you have your, uh, your supporting statements, and your conclusion. Does that make sense? Wanderson? Why? Wh what? Okay. The, the, does that make sense, what I explained to you? Okay, okay. I, I understand. Okay, yeah. I you understood. Need to have those understood. Great, great. So you need to have those, those clear parts to be able to answer that question correctly. All right? Very good. Okay, uh, let's, uh, let's see here. Um, Nurel, let's go to you. And then also welcome to Huda and Adam uh, in class. I'll uh, I'll get to you guys in one second, okay? All right. So, uh, let's have you uh, let's have you take a look. What's up? Teacher, may I may yes. I answer the same question because I never did before? Uh, the uh, number twenty-four. The invention, yes. Oh sure, that'd be just fine. Okay, great. Okay. All right. Yeah. Go ahead and go ahead and read that. Okay. If you could invent something new, what product would you develop? Use specific details to explain why this invention is needed. All right. Okay. So fifteen seconds to prepare. Okay, ready? Okay. Okay. If I could invent something new, I would develop a magic pill. Everyone who swallows this pill will become smart and rich. Well, why smart? Because uh, nowadays employers are looking for intelligent person. So by being smart, you will increase your ability for work and finding a job. In addition, uh, by swallowing this pill, you will become rich. So you will have a lot of money to do whatever you want and uh, to take care of yourself and your family. And uh, money is very important. Therefore, for these reasons, I believe that if I could invent something new, I would develop a magic pill. Okay, very good. <laughs> that, a magic pill. Okay. <laughs> now, um, uh, we had we had some extra words in there that we could have uh, done without. Okay, mm -hmm. for example, that last one uh, you wouldn't have needed to say. Okay, uh, and money is very good. Oh. Okay, that ate up some of your, some of your time there with your with your conclusion. 
Okay, yeah. so always keep an eye there on your call, on your clock because uh, your thought was was complete. Okay, uh, you could um, have as much money to do whatever you want to take care of your family, um, you know, travel, whatever. Okay, so in conclusion, that's why I would invent a magic pill. Okay, so um, that and that would be uh, that would be just uh, just fine. So yeah, uh, watch out for those extra little things where you're throwing in maybe an opinion that uh, that that is relevant to your answer, but maybe uh, adding adding uh, too much pad. Okay, too much padding in your answer. So uh, just because you want to make sure that you're also ending in time. Okay, mm -hmm. now uh, let's take a look here. Um, at the pronunciation of the word pill. Okay, let's let's work on pill. the the place of the L. Pill. 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 Okay, good. One more time. Pill. A magic pill. A magic pill. Pill. Okay. Pill. Now your your uh, it's uh, your vowel sound is a mixture between a short e and a short i. Pill. Pill. Okay. You want to say pill. 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 It's a long. It's a long. It's a yes. short I sound. I, oh, I, oh, yeah. Pill. 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 Okay. Yeah. Uh, work on work on the difference there because it sounds like you're, like you're saying pill. It's a mixture. Uh, the way that you're pronouncing that vowel is a mixture between the short e and the short i. Okay. Mm -hmm. with, with the difference there, your tongue. When you say pill, okay, mm -hmm. pill. The your tongue is a little lower in the mouth. Okay. With the short I, it's raised higher. I, p, pill, pill. And your tongue, your tongue should be up high enough to where the sides of your tongue are touching your teeth. P, pill, pill, pill. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. And then your tongue needs to curve down, and then also the tip of it needs to touch the top of your mouth behind your teeth. Pill. Okay. Allow it. Allowing that that vowel sound to rest in your mouth, pill. Mm. Okay. Now, um, uh, grammar-wise, okay. Uh, after after you had stated why, okay, you had said uh, to make you smart and uh, so you could be rich. Okay. You said why smart because. Okay. Now, um, instead of starting the question, the uh, sentence off with why smart. Okay. Um, uh, you would need to expand on that just a little bit, okay? Um, uh, um, the reason why I would choose to make to have the pill make us smart is because now it's a long one, okay? But you can't just start off the sentence and say why smart, because, all right? So uh, you could say the pill would make you smarter because, or the pill would make you smarter uh, so that. That might be a, a better way to say that. Okay, instead of starting off with why smart. Um, uh, the last one here. Okay, uh, companies are looking for smart person. Okay, instead of person, smart people. Uh, I okay. say employers. I say I said employers are looking for employees who are smart. Um, that may have been what you wanted to say, but you said smart person. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, you may have said employees are looking for um, uh, for smart per person. If you are going to say smart person, you need to say a smart person. Okay. If not, if you leave out that article, you need to say smart people. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Very good. And I like the idea. I would buy that pill. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, let's go to our next question here, and let's see. Okay, this will be for Manel. Okay, um, we are not going here. to do. Okay, good. We're not going to do in advantages and disadvantages uh, with you. That one's a little complicated. Let's do number two yeah. here. Okay. Okay, go ahead and read that out loud, please. 
It has recently been announced that a new restaurant may be built in your neighborhood. Do you support or oppose this plan? Why use specific reasons and detail to support your answer? Okay. Okay. All right. So okay. Um, here, this is going to be an opinion. Okay. I'm going to let you loose and I, mm -hmm. I'm going to give you 15 seconds. You need to come up with your introduction, your supporting statements, yes. and do not, don't forget your conclusion. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, 15 seconds. Okay. Okay, ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right, go. Okay. For me, yes, I support to open uh, to build a new restaurant uh, on uh, in my neighborhood because, uh, like this, my neighborhood will be much uh, future, uh, much good because uh, and it maybe it will open places to uh, uh, my neighbor to work there and like this and in the last. I would love to they open restaurants because I love eating, especially out in restaurants. That's it. Okay. All right. Now, uh, good it job. Enough. No, no, no. It was fine. Now you have up to forty-five seconds. Okay. Uh, but mm -hmm. what you were lacking is your conclusion. Yes. All right. So after you said that you loved eating, and I loved how you said the word eating, you said, I love eating, like it was the most exciting thing ever, right? Mm -hmm. That was great. You're like, I love eating, right? Okay, that was good. So uh, you like eating in the restaurant, especially eating out, okay? Then you want to say after that, okay, those are the reasons, those are the reasons why I support having this restaurant built in my neighborhood. Yes. Okay, so that's your conclusion. Those are the reasons why, okay, I, I support this, okay? Now, very good. Good job with your, with your introduction. One suggestion that I have here is instead of saying, for me, yes, I support, just start off with, I support having, okay? All right, so I support having a, uh, a restaurant built in my neighborhood. Okay, now, uh, the next phrase here you said, my neighborhood will be much good. Okay. Not much good. I want to thinking to be much prettiest, but I cannot pronounce it. That's it. Okay. Um, it, it, you would have to say, um, the restaurant will make my neighborhood look better. Yes, look better. Okay, we'll, we'll make my neighborhood look better. Okay. Yes. And uh, the last one here, you said, uh, and I was halfway done writing it. Uh, you said it will open. It, it will open up. Ah, I forget. I forget. My neighbor uh, I, can have a job there because they will. Yes, that's for what sure. It was. They will need the uh, employment. Okay. Employees. Now, when you when you when you say that, um, you need to say neighbors. My neighbors. Okay, so you need to pluralize that. My neighbors um, would be able to work at the restaurant. They'd be able to have a job there. Okay, so we do need to pluralize that. My neighbors. Does that make sense? It's my neighbors. It's plural. Yes. Uh-huh. Very good. Very good. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, just remember, you keep, need to keep remembering your, um, your conclusion at the very end. Okay, that's how you want to wrap it up. Okay, but yes, good job, good job. You're doing well. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Thanks. Good. Let's go to Huda. Huda, how are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. Excellent. Where are you from, Huda? I'm from Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Awesome. And are you are you studying for the uh, TOEFL exam? I uh, no, I'm studying for general, but uh, today I decide to enter the TOEFL. The TOEFL lesson. Uh, which which one are you uh, studying for? Say that again. I study for the intermediate. Oh, okay. All right. Very good. Very good. So yeah, let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, try and answer one of these questions. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're gonna go to. But please give me the the easy lesson, uh, the easy question. What you want the easiest one? 
<laughs> okay, yeah. no problem. Um, so here's a, here's another one here that's similar to what um, uh, what Manal uh, just uh, just answered. Okay, so this is number three. Go ahead and and read this out loud, please. Okay, it has recently been uh, in a car in a, in a set that a large shopping and a center might be violet uh, in your uh, neighborhood. Uh, do you support or offer uh, this plan? Why uh, use uh, specific reasons and details to support your answer? Yeah, it's a great question. Okay, uh, so. Answer. Okay, so there's a large shopping center that, that's announced. Now here, okay, you're going to say, uh, say that you support it or you do not support it. Okay, now with your introduction, when you're answering TOEFL questions, it's very structured. You need to have an introduction where you answer the question. Okay, saying I support, the, I support having a large shopping center built in my neighborhood or I don't support having this this uh, large shopping center built in my neighborhood okay then afterwards you're going to explain why alright and have a couple of reasons why you support it or you don't support it then also don't forget your conclusion at the very end now you'll you'll have 15 seconds to prepare your answer right and then 45 seconds to answer after that from from the clock once it gets to 15 seconds I stop it there then I ask you if you're ready, and then we go from there, and it'll go up to one minute. So if you see 45 seconds on here, that does not mean you stop. It goes up to one minute. I'm starting it from 15 seconds, okay? So I'm going to give you 15 seconds to prepare your answer. I wrote the question in the Google chat box as well, so you can refer to it, okay? Here we go. 15 seconds to prepare. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Car. All right, go ahead. Well, well, of course I support uh, building the the large shopping in my neighborhood, and I will be so happy if they did that because I love the shopping. Well, actually, I go to shopping sometimes every every week. So when the when the when the large the, uh, when the large shopping will be in my neighborhood. That means it will be very close to my home. And maybe I go there walking. I don't need to go there by the car. And I wish it to be a big mall like the others, uh, the others in my city. And I wish it will have uh, also a restaurant and some games. And, uh, and I want to I wanna include in this um, uh, like um, uh, a restaurant and uh, hotels and games and um, and yeah and okay um, just just till there the because our time is up all right so um, it make sure to uh, keep an eye on the clock I I let it go for a couple more seconds. To, to see if you could, uh, um, you'd notice and see that you needed to end. Okay, so um, before 45 seconds is up, you need to be stating your conclusion. Right now, yes. uh, good job, good job with your introduction. Okay, um, you stated uh, uh, some reasons why you would like it to have there, and you you were also mentioning some wishes. Okay, I and you were stating that uh, that you wish it had this, that, or the other, and that's that's okay. Okay, um, and uh, but at the end, you want to make sure that you're saying, now these are the reasons why okay, I support having the shopping center built in my neighborhood. Okay. Now, yes. uh, your pronunciation was pretty good. Okay. It was, Thank you. you. Yeah, your I pronunciation question, was good. Please. Yeah. Uh, is, it, is it the large shopping? It's like the mall? Uh, yes, uh, but it would be called a shopping center. We wouldn't, we wouldn't stop at the word shopping. The large shopping center. Okay, it would be like a, a mall. Uh, uh, it could be an outside uh, collection of stores, something like that. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Okay, now, thank you. Um, one word I want to practice with you on is the word happy. Instead of happy, it's happy. ha happy. Happy. 
Good, good. Just like that. One more time. Happy. Happy. Good. That was really nice. Okay. Now, um, uh, some phrases that you said here that I want to work on. I'm going to copy and paste these in the chat box here. Okay. Uh, the first one that you said is, I love the shop. Okay. The shopping. Now, it, it must be a shopping, right? Okay. Yes. But what you would need to say is, I love to shop. Uh, okay. Okay. I love to shop. Okay, um, uh, and then the next one you said, I go to shopping every week. Okay, here, I go shopping every week. Okay. Okay, so we take out two there. Okay, next one, uh, that, that means, uh, that mean it will be very close to my home. Okay, make sure to pronounce that S on the end of means. That means it will be very close to my home. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the last one. I wish it will have. Okay. Um, I think uh, I wrote that down the, the correct way. I think you were saying I wish it have. Okay. Uh, you would you would need to say will there. I wish it or not will but would. I wish it would have. Okay. I okay. wish it would have. Or I hope it has. Okay. Or I okay. hope it will have something like that. Okay, uh, when you're expressing that hope or a wish or the desire. Okay, all right. But yes, very, very good job on your on your first time time through here. Sounded sounded nice. Thank okay, you. okay, very good. All right, um, good. Let's see here. Gorman, would you like uh, would you like to try a question here? Yes, but I can't see the question. Okay, that's no problem. I can uh, fix that for you. Here we go. Here are the questions. Okay, so um, question number question number four. Okay, go ahead and, and read that out loud, please. It has recently been announced that a new movie theater may be built in your neighborhood. Do you support or oppose this plan? Why? Use specific reason and detail to support your answer. Yes, okay. uh, uh, I think I, I will support the... Okay, uh, hold, hold on one second. Okay, yeah. so you have you have 15 seconds to prepare. All right, yeah. now in, in this you need to have an introduction, okay, supporting statements, and a conclusion, okay? Um, in, in, in this you want to be specific. You don't want to start off with, I think I support, okay? You want to be specific and say, I support or I don't support okay. this plan, okay? And then, okay, you go in and explain why. So I'm going to give you 15 seconds. I'm going to be, I'm going to be quiet. Everyone else will be as well. Uh, plan out your, your, uh, your question or your answer here, okay? And then, and then we'll stop and then we'll go from there, okay? All right, so here we go, 15 seconds. Okay, I suppose to the... No, 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 no. You have 15 seconds. You have 15 seconds to think about think about okay. your answer. Okay? So after 15 seconds, then we'll stop. Then you'll have 45 seconds to, to answer. Okay? So uh, I will be quiet. Okay? Think about your answer for 15 seconds, and then but we'll go the, from there. But okay? the time is, 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 is about to... It, it will start it will start in just one moment okay so watch so watch the screen here it's going to start okay and I'll, I'll tell you when when you can start your answer okay so let's let's wait for 15 seconds here we go okay. Ready? Yes, I Go. support the idea of bringing the new cinema or theater in my in my town because it will bring more people. There will be a lot of activities from people who come who come and watch the movie. That is, I can't continue. Okay, uh, and your conclusion? 
the conclusion okay. is, yeah, stop. All right, so uh, with your conclusion there, uh, you uh, even if you have one answer, you can still conclude and say that is the reason why I support having the movie theater brought to my my uh, my town or my city. Okay, so make sure that you are concluding that up and you're wrapping it up so that the the person knows that you're ending. Okay, um, now. Um, I want to work on the pronunciation of the word theater with you. The word is pronounced yeah. the, thea, theater. 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 Okay, one more time. Theater. 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 Okay, good. Now, um, also, instead of saying in my town, we would say to, to my town. I support, to my town. I support having a theater. Built uh, uh, or brought to my town instead of instead of in my town. You can also say uh, you could say built in my town instead of brought. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Very good. Okay. Well, thank you guys uh, very much for coming to class uh, this hour. It was great having you here. Uh, I'm going to take a break for about an hour and then I'll be back for um, a description class. So we'll take a look at uh, pictures. We'll take a look at pictures from YouTube from not from YouTube but from um, Google Images, there we go, and we'll describe what we see in the pictures. Okay? okay. All right, you guys. Thank you. We'll see you. Okay, Bye. thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.